Hello friends. Friends, we have just completed the partnership accounting, right? In the last lecture, we completed with partnership accounting, right? So now what we are going to start with is your book one is complete. If you have any queries, just send me an email at ksjteaching at the rate gmail.com, right? Now from this lecture, we are going to start your second book that is company accounts, right? That is company accounts. Now what we are going to study in company accounts, we are going to study basically about two things. One is the share capital, right? And the other thing is debentures. Clear? So we are going to study basically about two things when we talk of company accounts, share capital and debentures, right? Now, what is company accounts? See, there are various ways of doing a business, right? There can be various ways of doing a business, right? Clear? Now one way we have discussed in book one, that is partnership. Now what is partnership? I told you that two or more persons, they join together to carry on business to earn profits and those profits will be distributed among them in the decided ratio. Isn't it? This is what we have done in partnership that there are two or more persons who enter into a partnership. Why they enter into a partnership? They want to run a business. Clear? They want to run a business. They enter into a partnership. They join the hands and start the business. How they start the business? They bring some money of theirs into the business that we known as capital partners capital we discussed, right? This is the money that the partners are bringing to start the business. So they bring in their capital. They start the business, they earn profits and they distribute profits among themselves in their profit sharing ratio. This is what we discussed in partnership. So partnership is just one form of doing business. There can be other forms. There can be a sole proprietorship where there is only one person who is running the business, who is the owner of the business and who has invested the money and who is doing all the business. All the profits will go to that sole proprietor only. Clear. Then we have another form of doing business that is in the form of a company. Clear. That is a company. Now, what is the difference between partnership and company? Let's see. Let's see how we do business in company and because we have studied partnership, I will compare the partnership and company, right? How we conduct business under the different forms in partnership. I say there are two or more persons, right? In company, there can be a one person or more persons. See in partnership, Normally there are two, three, four, maximum six, seven partners in normal cases, right? In company, there can be, if I talk of more persons, there can be 200 people who are involved in the top management of company. There can be, right? So in partnership, we have two or more persons in company. We, we it can be a one man company also. That is being managed by only a single person. In that case, there will be only a one person who is managing the company or it can be more persons, right? Then in partnership, what was happening is partners were having their own money. They were bringing their money into the business that we call as capital, right? In this partners,
have their own money right known as capital clear friends now what is happening in company company is the people who have decided to start business people who have decided to start business do not have their own money right can you draw the difference in partnership partners were bringing their own money into the business that we called it as capital but in company the people who have decided to start business they do not have their own money then what will they do if they do not have their own money what will people do they will obviously ask money from outsiders they are not going to take money from the bank remember this right when we are talking of share capital or debentures that means they are not going to take money from bank right what they are doing is they don't have their own money they will ask money from outsiders clear they will ask for money from outsiders and if the outsiders pay them they will issue the receipt they will issue receipt right this money that they receive and the issue this is what we known as share we ask money from them this issue of receipt is issue of shares this receipt is what shares or debentures clear we issue them the share document we issue them the debenture document and on the basis of that we are taking money from the outsiders right this money belongs to outsiders we are just taking it as a loan you can say right we are taking it just as a loan as a loan we take from bank this is money we are taking from outsiders and we are issuing them the receipt this receipt is known as shares we issue them shares clear okay clear friends this much is clear in company people who have decided to start business do not have their own money they ask money from the outsiders and issue them the receipt that receipt is known as issue of shares right then can you tell me if we are taking the outsiders money we are just taking it in the form of a loan then who are the owners of the company the people who have decided to start the business or the people who are investing in the business that means who are giving the money to start the business who are the owners simply there are two things in this owners are shareholders that means here i told you that you ask money from the outsiders we are issuing them the receipt which is known as shares so who is holding the receipt now the shareholders shareholders means the people who are holding the share who are holding the share outsiders from whom we have taken the money so these outsiders these shareholders are the owners and management management is with directors who are directors now these directors are the people who have decided to start the business remember these directors do not have their own money they asked for money from outsiders and issue them shares so these outsiders from whom money is taken and shares are issued these are known as 
शेयर होल्डर्स सो ओनर्स आर द शेयर होल्डर्स मैनेजमेंट इज विद द डायरेक्टर्स राइट डायरेक्टर्स आर देयर जस्ट टू रन एंड मैनेज द बिजनेस क्लियर इज दिस मच क्लियर फ्रेंड्स देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर द एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट आई होप यू ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर द एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट स्टडी इन क्लास प्लस वन दिस सेज दैट बिजनेस इज अ सेपरेट एंटिटी एंड द पर्सन हु आर रनिंग द बिजनेस आर द सेपरेट पीपल दैट मीन्स अकाउंटिंग फॉर बिजनेस इज डन इन अ सेपरेट वे एंड अकाउंटिंग फॉर पर्सन हु आर देयर इन द बिजनेस हु आर रनिंग द बिजनेस इज डन इन अ सेपरेट वे लाइक इन पार्टनरशिप वी डू द पार्टनरशिप अकाउंटिंग दैट इज अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म एंड we prepare the partners capital accounts right so in this we also say company is a separate legal entity right here also even in case of partnership in the very first lecture if you remember i told you that partnership is a separate legal entity from the partners who are running the partnership firm right in this case also company is a separate legal entity from the people who are running the part uh, sorry company right then one important point that partnership is governed by governed by indian partnership act 1932 right and this companies is governed by companies law companies act 2013 now you might say that sir before 2013 there was no law for the companies or there were no companies there were companies and there was a law also for the companies therefore i will write with this or any previous company law there was previously a company law that was given in 1956 companies law 1956 right in 2003 this companies act was completely changed right there was a new act and the old act was abolished and there was a new act that was called companies act 2013 there were major changes in this companies act 2013 those changes are not all the changes relevant for you wherever it will be relevant i'll be covering all those changes right right there were changes in the balance sheet formation schedule 3 companies act 2013 right so there are changes so the relevant changes we will cover automatically right so the in partnership i told you it is governed by indian partnership act 1932 and if we talk of companies it is being governed by the companies act 2013 or any other previous company law right so this much is clear now you know what is a company how it is being run the very basis of company is when we are talking of company accounts right then the first thing that will come to mind is the share capital or the debentures this is like a loan we are taking from the outsiders and we are issuing the receipt for that loan taken clear loan we are taken loan we are taking and we are issuing the receipt clear friends so this is about the company there are various ways of doing a business right in company the owners are different from management in partnership what was happening is it was the money of the partners only and they were the management only in this money is of shareholders that is the outsiders who have invested the money and the management is with directors 
these directors are the elected representatives these are not the owners of the company because these shareholders can any time ask for their money back right so directors are just managing the business they are just running the business they are the employees of shareholders you can say clear then i told you that company is a separate legal entity company accounting for company will be done accounting for the directors who are running the company will be done separately clear then indian partnership act is governed by part uh, sorry partnership is governed by indian partnership act 1932 and companies are being governed by companies act 2013 there was a previous companies act 1956 which was ab abolished and the new act 2013 was introduced clear so this is about companies now we are what we are going to start with is in company accounts i told you we'll be talking about two things right one is share capital right the other one is debentures if you have understood the share capital right if you are able to understand share capital clearly then deben doing debentures will be very easy for you because debentures moves on this line all only right so understanding share capital concept is very important right so in the next lecture we'll be starting with share capital right and then slowly we'll move on to debentures if you have any queries friends even relating to partnership or any other topic just send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com clear so what we are going to start with is we are going to start with share capital clear so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much